Welcome to Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing October the 14th with me, Patrick Murray. The week ahead will see more top tier data coming from the US with highlights being retail sales and industrial production. Retail sales numbers are essential to gauge the current state of US consumer spending, which is expected to remain solid mainly due to a robust labour market. Industrial production, meanwhile, is likely weighed down by manufacturing output, as indicated by the decade-low ISM Manufacturing Index. Other data to watch out for is housing starts and building permits, the early batch of regional manufacturing surveys, as well as the NAHB Housing Market Index. Federal Reserve is also expected to publish its penultimate beige book for the year. From a technical perspective, the dollar index has duly tested our target down at the 98.22 and we saw some profit taking late Friday. There is the potential that this has completed a three-way corrective pattern and we could set a base here to target and retest prior highs. However, with the continues momentum and sentiment divergence that I've highlighted over the previous weeks weighing on the market, I'm looking for a break of the 98 area to take us down to test 97.60 and then on towards the ultimate objective of the ascending trendline support down below the 97 level. Whilst we're looking at the dollar index, let's check in with gold. Obviously, with the weakness that we've seen in the dollar index, gold has caught a bid and I'm looking now for this 1480 area to continue to act as support, watching for bullish reversal patterns here to set long positions, targeting a move up to the anticipated 1580 target level. However, any failure below 1460 would be a bearish development, looking then for a move down to test the 1440 support area. The data highlight for Canada over the balance of next week will be the Wednesday, September CPI data. We have existing home sales on Tuesday and manufacturing sales on Thursday, as well as house price data Friday, which will complete the domestic calendar next week. Absent any bombshells, market watchers doubt the election campaign will have any significant influence on the CAD. The Looney took a, a hit this week and we have traded down as anticipated to test the support area at the 131.70 level. I'm now looking for a move down to test the monthly S1 at 131.20 and a failure below here will open a test of the 130 support area. Meanwhile, in Europe, the Eurostat is releasing industrial production data, external trade numbers, as well as the final reading of HICP inflation for September. Forward-looking indicators such as PMI and factory orders continue to paint a gloomy picture of the Eurozone manufacturing industry, suggesting that a turnaround is not really possible in the near to medium term. Aside from official data, we're also expecting the German ZEW survey of investor confidence, which is likely to continue its current streak of negative readings. From a technical perspective, the euro dollar broke out this week, taking out the descending trendline resistance at the 110 level. I'm now looking for any corrective pullbacks to the 109.50 to act as support whereby I would be looking to set long positions confirmed by bullish reversal patterns to target a test of the major descending trendline resistance now, coming in at just above 111. Failure below 109.50 would see a return to range and the potential to retest lows back down towards the 109 level. Whilst we're looking at the euro, let's check in with the DAX. The DAX, as we anticipated from last week's review, found support at the 12,000 area and has since printed new cycle highs at 12,500. I'm now looking for this move to extend up to test the trendline support now to act as resistance from the test from below. And I'd be looking for any bearish reversal patterns in and around this 12,700 area to set short positions, initially targeting a move back down to test 12,200 from above. In the UK, while Brexit sentiment continues to drive the market, focus will be on the all-important EU summit starting Thursday, with fresh hopes for a last-minute deal being kept alive. 
key data worth paying attention to are Tuesday's August jobs report, as well as Wednesday's September CPI, and retail sales, which, is ex which are expected to remain soft. From a technical perspective, obviously, the sterling has seen a considerable short squeeze this week, um, headline driven mainly. And now what we're looking for is an equidistant swing pattern to, to play out. And I'm looking for a test of this 128.13 area. We also have this sending trendline resistance projected in, in and around there as well. So I'll be watching for any bearish reversal patterns in this, in this area, just above 128, to set short positions, targeting a move back down to test 125 as support. As we find support in this 125 area, then there is the potential that we retest prior highs, giving a double top pattern again in and around 128. Failure below 125 opens trendline support back down towards the 123 area. Again, watching for any bullish reversal patterns in this key area to set long positions, looking for a move to target retest the 128. The Japanese data bag is lighter this week, comprising of Friday's CPI, which is expected to hold steady around the 0.5%. And we also get industrial production on Tuesday. Uh, BOJ Corona will also speak on Tuesday at a branch manager's meeting. From a technical perspective, the dollar yen has taken out the trendline resistance coming in just above 108, and we are now testing the key resistance area at 108.50. A close above this 108.50 will open the move to the anticipated 109.50 target area. However, if we fail to take out the 108.50 on a closing basis, watch for bearish reversal patterns in and around this area to potentially set short positions targeting move back down to test the base at 106.50. Down under, the RBA is releasing its October meeting minutes with further details around October's decision to cut. While the crucial September jobs report is due Thursday, where a moderate rise in employment is expected. From a technical perspective, the Australian dollar held the 67 support area once again and has broken up to test the 68 area, whereby some sellers have stepped in or profit taking more likely at the end of the week. Now, it's going to be crucial this week if we can hold 67.50 as support, then there is the potential to trade up to test the descending trendline resistance at the 69 level. However, if we can't break the 68, expect further consolidation, frustrating both bulls and bears in this 68-67 range. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing October the 14th.